All right, welcome everybody. We are here for a very special edition of Take the Black with Magnus Brune, uh, late of the Last Kingdom, and and uh, now a big part of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Magnus, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, thanks. How are you? Doing fantastic. Doing fantastic. Glad uh, glad we could connect to chat. So, um, as I mentioned just a second ago, you used to be on The Last Kingdom as Canute, one of the show's biggest villains. Last time we talked, it was right before season four aired. Um, so, walk us through. Were you happy with how Canute uh, met his end? What was your last day on set like? Oh, that was a well, multiple questions. Yeah. Well, um, well, I was happy the way uh, it ended because. Um, it kind of came full circle, the story of uh, Rachna, Breda, and, uh, and Knut. Yeah. Um, because if Uhtred had killed me in the end, it wouldn't have had that feeling. But, but Breda finally found out that I was out of the murder of um, Ragnar, and then she did it. Um, and I remember reading the script and saying, yes, finally, good. Mm -hmm. Because in some drafts, it's, it was just a big, a big final battle and a duel with Uhtred, and then he kills, he kills Knut. Mm -hmm. And that would have fitted in the books better, but, the, but in the books, they don't have the whole breeder Knut um, story. Right. Um, so I think in that sense, it was nice. And it was nice to have that that ending of, of the, the big fight with, with, uh, with this deep, serious conversation and Knut pleading Breda to, to stay with him mm -hmm. and kill Uhtred, um, um, which I think would have been the better choice. Uh, <laughs> look what happened to her. It's, yeah. Um, but um, yeah, that is Knut speaking. <laughs> uh, so so and my final my final day wasn't that day um, right. actually my final day of shooting was i think that was um finding out that uh my older son and that uh he was holding escar uh, right. my youngest son mm -hmm. um and the rage and emotion and and the plan just going. <laughs> uh, that was, I think, that was my last day on really shooting. Then I, I came back for some reshoots and some right. facial stuff, and uh, but that was uh, my last day. And 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 how was that? Did you get a nice bottle of champagne? Did you get some claps on the back? Was uh... oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I get I got to keep my sword. Uh, oh nice. I've been using for uh, two seasons uh, <laughs> i got to keep ice bite uh, even though it's it doesn't have that feeling in, in the show as it does mm -hmm. in the books right uh, it was it was and is precious to me yeah no i was saying i was disappointed that ice bite didn't have the same life that it did in the books because it did in the books outlasted canute for a while there yeah i, I think what they tried to to do is take as much of the magic out of the show. Mm -hmm. um, and an ice bite sort of had this magical feel to it and you needed yeah. that to save Uhtred and all that. Um, it's fine that, that he is talking about it. Like this is, this is made by dwarfs in the mines and it's or whatever. But when it comes down to what matters, it's just a sword. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I think that was part of what they were trying to do, and also they they were going with another storyline. Um, a lot of a lot of people reading the books, um, well, well, from the beginning they were going, "What? Why doesn't he have white hair?" <laughs> right. I remember that. Yeah. Um, so, and and he was. I think he might have been like fifty years old, mm -hmm. or forty five or something in the books, um, but. But I think they, they, they just went another way. Um, they wanted to have this love triangle and, and, and also use Ragnar more. Um, 
because in the books, Ragnar just gets fat and dies, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> and I, I think it's much more interesting to have his end uh, in some sort of betrayal and then keep that in the story mm -hmm. um, to, to kind of punish the, the, the viewers that right. Brita doesn't know. And, you know, so, so, so you, you have all that in, in the background. I think that's way more interesting and that has been, been very fun um, to, to play out. Yeah. Uh, also, yeah. for, for my, my, uh, my perspective, not, not being the bad guy, you know, <clears throat> uh, I, I, I think of Knut as ambitious. That is right. my main, main word for him. Um, he just wants something out of this, you know? And he, he has a plan. And starting at the beginning of season four, that plan is getting, you know, the, it's getting closer. Mm -hmm. And he's now the, the, the leader of the Vikings. He's, he's getting very close to getting the throne. And he wants to share that with Brida. He wants to have a place for all the Vikings, for, for his people. Right. But they can live. I think in, in season three, Ragnar and Uhtred has this, uh, this talk uh, on the ramparts of Dunholm where, where they're talking about Wessex being... Valhalla in our time, um, something that that old old Papa Ragnar had said, um, and I think that was the dream for many of these Vikings, and also for um, for Knut to make that here, mm -hmm. with flourishing, nice green fields, you know, all that. Um, but as many other Vikings, that. <laughs> Goal didn't happen right. um, because of Utrid. <laughs> Son of a, another Utrid. Yeah, no, it was. I, I really did enjoy Canoot on the show. I was, I was a little sad to see him leave uh, because he was, he was, he was a pretty interesting character. And 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 then up until the end, there didn't really lead with his emotions, which was which was a nice change. So, um, so after. The Last Kingdom, you moved on to a part that as a lot of people have fallen in love with, um, Eivor on Assassin's Creed Valhalla. How did that part come around? Well, um, they were looking for Scandinavian actors mm -hmm. um, for this, what I was told. Um, it was, it was a like an animated series called the, the Black Wolf Saga. Ten episodes shot in Canada. Yeah. I thought, well, sounds cool. Let's, let's see what that is. And so I, uh, I auditioned for it and uh, they wanted to, to see me um, in, in London for a callback. And then my agent was... She wasn't sure now what it was because she found out it was Ubisoft um, was making this this animated series. Right. Um, we didn't know that from from the beginning. Uh, so I flew to to London and uh, met up with uh, four of the directors of the game. And at that point, I was told, "So welcome. This is Assassin's Creed, the new game. It was called something else at that point. Um, they were still finding out." character names, the name of the game, all kinds of stuff. And I auditioned again, and uh, they, they've seen me in The Last Kingdom. Right. Um, but that wasn't why I was there. Um, I was there because of my voice, I found out. Mm -hmm. Also, they, 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 liked my, they liked my portrayal of Knut. It seemed the, the third season. Um, so they knew my work, the new... new what I stood for, but they were looking for for voices. Right. Also, so we were playing a lot of scenes at the at the auditions, but in the end, they told me they were looking. They they was they sat sat back with their screens shut and then just listening to the tapes, listening to the auditions. Can we can we can we work with this voice? Can you have that voice in your ears for two hundred hours? Is that right. is that possible? Or, do you want to kill yourself? <laughs> um, 
and they they told me that they they were they were showing it uh, not showing them but but uh, having their partners uh, wives and husbands and brothers and sisters listen to it listen to this and this one you know um and i've i've never done auditions like that where normally um they go for they go for this and obviously all the acting and what you do but he, here it was like the tone and yeah. Okay, but when he whispers, can we? Yeah, yeah, but uh, what can we? Can we muddle this too? Um, so that was interesting. Um, and I was auditioning for Sigurd in the game, which was mm -hmm. uh, the older brother right. uh, of Eivor. Right. Right. Uh, until I came to London, where they wanted to see me for for the lead, mm -hmm. which I'm today very happy they wanted to <laughs> because that has been such a wonderful and amazing journey. Um, yeah. and I'm still on it. I'm still working on the game, right. doing um, DLCs, more download, downloadable content, um, right. and talking to people about it. It's 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 fantastic that the fans of this franchise is just they they're so cool, uh, and it's been so nice to jump in to the. This, this franchise because of the fan base right. um, and all the, all the people playing the game because they are some, some very cool people. You know, they, some of them have played all the games and the, all the extra games and the middle games and right. not only the main, main titles and played them several times each. Uh, so they know, they know so much, they know so much more <laughs> than me. Right. Uh, I'm a newbie in this, uh, right. but also I remember Darby McDevitt, who is, uh, who is the narrative director of the game. And he, he, he was, he's also the narrative director of, uh, of uh, Black Flag and other, and other games, done a lot of stuff in this franchise. And he knows, in my opinion, everything, but he says, no, 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 no. I, I have to ask. I have to go to the, <laughs> the deep web to find out stuff and talk to some of the mentors of, uh, of, 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 of Assassin's Creed to, you know, a lot of fans know, they know a lot more and there's so much into it. No, no, the Isu, when what they actually did was, you know, so yeah, I think it's so cool when people are so connected to something that they know more than, than, than cre the creators of it. I think that is that's yeah, well, and the fantastic. Yeah, and the series lends itself really well to continued play. You know, you can you can play through the main game and and complete that, but there's that's just scratching the surface to it. And I think that's what a lot of people enjoy about the games is there's so much more to discover and and always you can always go back and play again and see different, you know, things that you hadn't seen before. So, um what did you enjoy most about about bringing Avor to life? Um maybe not the just as far as the character and his motivations or hers it depending on who you choose to play yeah exactly um yeah because if you choose to play the female you, you play you, you're, you're playing cecilia steenspiel another danish actor um yeah. and she's done an amazing job um i like her very much uh, personally but also she's so talented uh and yeah um I think the, the the most interesting and fun part for me in this game has been doing all the motion capture, mm -hmm. um, because that feels like acting out scenes. Because you are, I'm 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 playing big scenes in this big big hall, uh, like green screen studio um, with a hundred cameras in the ceiling and four steady cam operators running around me and, and the other actors while we're shooting the scenes. And also we have this helmet with four cameras on it um, yeah. just for small facial expressions. Um, so when they animate it, they can use it all, the eyes, the nose, the, you know, the, 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 like the micro, micro right. uh, stuff you do, the smile, wrinkles and all that. Right. Um, but shooting that has been just so fun. Um, and also weird, you know, like sitting on boxes, that's the horse. Um, right. But, but um, I believe it's sort of the same as when they're shooting a lot of like the Avengers and other 
uh, other yeah. films and series with a lot of, lot of CGI. And, you know, it's just, it's, it becomes magical because I could also, while shooting it, I could turn my head and I could see them animating it on a screen already. Mm-hmm. Right. Like because of my, I was wearing this tight black suit with dots on, and when I lift my arm, I could see my character lift the arm, you know. So that is that is something else. Um, right. Like yeah, but it was it was fun I'm working with a lot of great actors and great directors and a fantastic story, and also mm-hmm. the biggest story I've ever right i've worked with also yeah. being the lead in that so i'm in every scene almost you know mm-hmm. there's there's obviously some scenes i'm not in um like in the present day and and uh flashbacks to to stuff um but darby the narrative director told me that having the lead in this game is sort of the same as having the lead in a series that goes on for 10 seasons right. and you are in every scene in every right. episode yeah. that is how much you have to do in this game um which is <laughs> sort of crazy yeah. um so so yeah the motion capture has been the, the most fun part but also working uh, with the voiceovers has been so interesting mm-hmm. because there's been so much right and i made a promise that no no lines were worth more than others they mm-hmm. had to mean and, and be something special even though it's like a throwaway hey Sigurd come here or uh, what are you doing or whatever um, because when you're playing the game when you put on your headphones and you sit there and you, you've and you're watching this and playing doing anything I, I become the voice I become your voice I become your thoughts and if that's not believable, if you're thinking, oh, that didn't that didn't taste well, you know, or uh, then you will just take them off and say, you know, I, I've and so, so I, I I did my absolute best to make this character a human being mm-hmm. that you would believe would have these feelings and th- those feelings would sound like this. Um, instead of just going like, oh, I'm a motherfucker, you know, I'm the, I'm this Viking all the time that talks like that, because yeah. Avo can do that, and he he is he and she is doing that because that's a fighting a lot of war and war cries and and intimidation and all that. But there's also love, and there's also family bonds. There are brotherhood. There are just negotiations, making alliances, speaking to your clan. Right. Singing songs, do poetry, all that, and if all of that also sounded like this, you know, let me read you a poem. That is, might well, you don't have to. It's it's fine. I can do that later um, when I'm <laughs> drunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, the fun to make it work uh, that way, and I was working with in my opinion, the best uh, voice director, um, Thor Bishopric. He's a wonderful Canadian, uh, half Canadian, uh, half Icelandic uh, dude. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just amazing. And he, he helped me out a lot. Yeah. Um, and so I know... Um... You know, on TLK, you obviously had the, the, the big beard, and I know you have the big beard now, but for the motion capture, you had to shave it. Was oh, yeah. that was how hard was that? Because I'm I'm quite jealous of your beard, and I know that had to have been hard to, to shave off. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's I, it's my job, you know. I'm an actor. <laughs> yeah. That's that's part of the part of it. That the, the, the uh, also is nice when I don't have this, my face, you know, it stops here. Yeah. Yeah. This is the end of my face. So, and it's, I'm, I'm just, I'm just bigger with this. Um, yeah. And normally I'll, I'll, I will get it and then they can always just cut it off if they need me clean shaved yeah. because it's, it's harder for if they come the big beard and then, yeah, <laughs> I don't have it. I can't just right. press it out. You know, yeah, yeah, it yeah. takes a couple of months to get a big beard. Um, yeah. 
Yeah. So, well, I mean, I'm definitely, uh, definitely jealous of, of, of the beard. So you should just let it, it grow. Little, I thought it might be a little hard to shave off for, for the part, but. Um, you know what? It's worth it. And also if they, they, they needed, they needed all my facial expressions. Um, they needed right. my team. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, cause, I mean, I've, I've, I've definitely I've seen all the, the the videos, and I know that you know they've got the sensors all over your, all over your face. So it's um, I knew knew that thing had to go pretty quick. So um, the fun fun thing was when they when I was auditioning for it, they asked me on uh, I think my second day of auditioning in London, my, my agent got got this. So would Magnus be uh, interesting in in shaving a bit? trimming his beard down mm -hmm. <laughs> it wasn't i didn't hear anything about clean right so you have to be clean shaped for shooting at these obviously i could have said fuck off i will never have my beard not the beard um but i think that would have made some trouble uh, made some problems you know yeah, but like you said, it it always grows back. It always grows back. So uh, you touched on it a second ago. You're still working on um, on some DLC for the game. Um, how much how much have you been working on that? And is there any kind of release date you can give people, or is that still top secret? It's still top secret. Right. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> All right. And I know uh, previously you mentioned uh, that you've been hard at work on the DLC. Is uh, is there a date fans can expect, or is that still top secret? How's that process going? There's many dates that the fans can expect, but uh, yeah. I can't tell them anything yeah. just yet. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Um, but um, it can't be too long with the first. Right. Uh, Wrath of the second one, I will start shooting in approximately a week's time. Okay. So it's coming. Okay. We're getting closer, but it's it still has to be made. And you know they're still patching up stuff on the game and doing seasonal stuff. And there's a lot of also this this pandemic has not been been helpful. A lot nope. of people are saying, "Oh, yeah, but it's nice because then you, you, we can all we could just sit and, and game, and they can just work on the games." While yeah, but you know, it's 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 hard when you can't go into the office and work. Right. Everybody's uh, been sitting home in Montreal where they made um, or they're making um, Valhalla. Well, they're making it all over, um, right. but that like the, the the center of it. And when when COVID came and shut everything down, people had to just, you know, do like us, sit sit back home with the laptop instead of having maybe four computers and all, all kinds of stuff because they couldn't just, they, were, they weren't prepared for, okay, so I'll bring back, I'll bring home all of this. At some day, just, you can't go into the office, but I need to get my, nope. Um, you know, so they made it work and then they, but it it's, uh, I think Valhalla well, was ahead uh, they're doing really good. Um, like, oh, we're we're not behind. We know we're on schedule. We know we can do that and that. And then the pandemic hit, and I th I think that kind of made them okay. We can finish it, but uh, many games are are you know as I think it's films and bees working on it. Yeah. But um, I, I know that they they didn't they didn't have that date for release of the game ready yeah. because they didn't know, so they they had to say uh, holiday right. uh, twenty twenty instead of on November the or whatever you know yeah. because they weren't sure, um, and you see that with other games coming out maybe too soon or it's it's sad when. People are pressured to to put something out that's not done, right? And and we also know that there's been glitches and stuff that needed patching on Valhalla, yeah. um, and that is sad. Um, it would have been nice if it had just worked out perfectly, but you never know. Yeah. Until millions of people are playing them and they find out, okay, so that didn't quite work. 
Yeah. Well, and the, yeah. And like you said, the pandemic is not making anything easier, uh, anything easier on anybody. So um, hopefully so, we are helping people uh, getting through this pandemic yeah. with television series and films and gaming. And so, so they have something to do in solitude at home. And, I think and, that's, I think that's the only way some people are getting through it uh, to be honest. So um Million dollar question though: Who wins uh, in a fight, Avor or Canute? Mm. It, it depends on what level you are as Avor. <laughs> I would say. Yeah, he gets powerful there by the end. You know, Canute is a beast, uh, yeah. and he is a very skilled swordsman. So is Avor. Um, I don't know where I, where I would put my money. And in my book, they're both heroes. Um, Knut being uh, the unsung hero of his own saga, Eivor right. uh, being the hero of the real saga. Um, so probably, probably Eivor would win after maybe dying and reloading three times. <laughs> Learning from his mistakes. Yeah. So that didn't work. I need, I need to use the big axe. God damn it. With fire. Yeah. Well, there you go. well, he's got a few advantages. Yeah. Fire axes definitely help. So, um, yeah. Well, I mean, that basically just leads me to to my last question. I mean, I know you mentioned you're working on the DLC for, for, for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Is there any other place that fans can expect you to see you next? Are you going to be wearing a nice suit and tie? Or are you going to go another Viking route? Uh, well, the f- the future will bring stuff. Um, and more, uh, pandemic, so it's, I've been doing television series. Mm-hmm. Um, so um, when the world opens up again, we'll see what happens. Um, right. But at the moment, uh, I will keep my cards close and uh, and not <laughs> not tell stuff. Uh, yeah. If that's all right. Well, either way, we'll be, uh, I think a lot of our fans will be looking out for, for whatever you have coming up next. So um, definitely appreciate the time. Um, this is Magnus Bruin. It's been a special edition of Take the Black. And uh, keep on uh, playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and we'll see you and talk to you again soon, Magnus. Well, cheers, and uh, thank you. And uh, behave, all of you, and wear a mask. <laughs> wear a mask, for sure.